It's Sunday, May the 31st, and today is an important day in the Christian calendar. It's the Feast of Pentecost. Now, you may not know what that is, but hopefully um, I'm going to explain it to you now. Um, it'll make a bit more sense as to why I'm sat by a fire. You might remember that Jesus had left his disciples. He'd gone up to heaven and he would promised them he'd send them the Holy Spirit. He described it as the helper and comforter and advocate. And he instructed them to go and wait and he would send the Holy Spirit. Well, 10 days after he'd ascended, the Holy Spirit came and it came in power. They were praying and it describes it as an experience where it was so powerful. It was as if tongues of fire were on the heads of each one of those disciples. It wasn't actually fire, but it was that powerful. So it must have been warm and strong and just so tangible that they were in no doubt that Jesus had fulfilled that promise. So today we celebrate the beginnings of the church, the birth of the church, because in that moment people came to faith in Jesus Christ. And if it hadn't been for that moment, we wouldn't be here now. There would be no church. So today, maybe find out a bit more about that. But more than that, if we open our hearts and minds in prayer to God, we too can receive the Holy Spirit, the one who's described as the comforter, the helper, the guide, the one who brings joy, peace and love and kindness and patience and gentleness. What's not to like? Here's a prayer for today. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your Holy Spirit that empowers us to live our lives to the full. May we receive that gift today and we pray for the church across the world today that it will continue to proclaim your goodness and your hope and your peace we pray for all who need comfort that you'd visit them with your kindness and your gentleness we pray for all who are sick that you bring healing and today we pray that you'd strengthen all who are weak by the power of your Holy Spirit. In the name of Christ, Amen.